Yes, children? So, so far we learned about atmosphere, the layer of air surrounds the earth, then the different layers of atmosphere, then how atmosphere protects the life of us, the living organism on the earth, then we learned about the uh, gases present in the atmosphere and uh, the properties of air, isn't it? Now coming to the uses of gases present in air. We know which are the gases present in the air. We learned like oxygen is present, nitrogen is present, other gases like argon is there, carbon dioxide is present, then water vapor and other gases are also there in atmosphere in small amounts, isn't it? So we, we know that there are gases present in the atmosphere. Now let's le learn the uses of these gases in the air. Uses of gases present in air. Uses of gases in air. Okay. We know that air is a mixture of gases. We know air is a mixture of gases. Which are those gases? Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and gases like neon, argon, krypton and xenon. These are the gases, main gases present in the atmosphere or in the air. Oxygen is essential for the survival of all living organism. Among these gas, oxygen is very important or it supports the life of human beings or uh, not only really human beings, all the living organism. We say it is very important for the living organism in the earth. When we breathe, we inhale oxygen. When we, once you breathe children, is everyone breathe? Yes, isn't it? So we are inhaling, we are taking in air, which air? Oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. When we, when we breathe, we are taking in oxygen and carbon dioxide is going out from us. People who climb mountains, those who dive into the deep sea, some people climb mountains, you know. Yes, you can see the picture, those who are climbing mountains here in the book. Here we can see the image of people climbing the mountains, isn't it? Yes, people who climb mountains and those who dive deep into the sea, into the deep sea. Some people you can see diving into the sea, the other image is that diving into deep sea you see some helmet and all on their face they are diving into the deep under the sea huh? and the researchers go into space the people those who go to the space for studying about the uh, stars sun moon and all huh? they carry cylinders we say oxygen cylinders in that cylinders they have oxygen huh? in order to breathe up above the space under the sea and all oxygen won't be there so they carry oxygen in cylinders to breathe so these are the gases present in the atmosphere and the uses of this gases so air is a mixture of gases we know oh, in atmosphere there are many gases the main is gas one is oxygen because it supports life all of the living organism in the earth they need oxygen to live then uh, human beings uh, when we in inhale oxygen and exhale means give out carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide plants need this for making food and with the mountainers those who are going to the mountains or climbing up the mountains and the people those who dive into the sea deep sea and the people those who go to the space uh, all of them carry oxygen cylinders to breathe So children, we are learning about the uses of gases in air. Okay, so next is carbon dioxide. The use of carbon dioxide is, it is used during photosynthesis in plants. That I said you earlier, carbon dioxide is used in plant, used by plants for making the food. It is called photosynthesis. It is used in aerated drinks, means soft drinks, children's Sprite, you know, Coca-Cola, Sprite, it's soda and all. You have seen when we open the bottle, what happens? That bubbles uh, it comes up, isn't it? So with the sound, it is nothing but carbon dioxide actually. Mm? All soft drinks, we use this carbon dioxide in liquid form. The solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice. It is used as a freezing agent. 
Mm. So this so carbon dioxide we can see in soft drinks and solid carbon dioxide called dry ice we use it for freezing, uh, freezing to make into ice. Okay, so that is solid carbon dioxide called dry ice. So carbon dioxide is used in photosynthesis uh, for pla uh, by plants for making the food and it is used in soft drinks. Uh, Aerated drinks means soft drinks and also the solid carbon dioxide form is called dry ice. It is used as a freezing agent for making into ice we say. Mm? Now nitrogen. The other gas present in the atmosphere is nitrogen. It is used as a natural manure. Okay. That manure you know uh, we are um, putting that in the soil to improve the quality of soil so that the plants grow nicely. Okay. So, you know, uh, for to increase the uh, fertility or the quality of the soil, uh, we uh, farmers and all what have they do, they add fertilizer, we say. A fertilizer that you already learned. Fertilizer is substance we, which we add to the soil to improve its quality. In the fertilizer, nitrogen is there. Actually, we are adding nitrogen to the soil so that soil gets the nutrients. Uh, then only really plants get those nutrients, it will grow properly. Then inert gases. Some inert gases are also present in the uh, atmosphere called uh, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. Uh, these gases. What are the uses of these gases? They are filled in bulbs which give bright colored lights. Uh, in functions and all for decoration of lights you have seen. Uh, some lights are uh, in orange color, some yellow, some green and all. See some bright lights are there for functions and all. on the stage if we perform, perform dance or drama and all what happens we can see in stage different colors are coming uh, of different colors of lights. Uh, mm? So these lights are made up of these gases. Uh, okay. So for decorating lights we use in, uh, uh, these gases present in the atmosphere. So what are the uses of gases present in the air? Yes, air is a mixture of gas. We say it contains um, gases like oxygen, nitrogen, water vapor, argon, krypton and some other gases also. So oxygen is the main gas that, we, uh, that all uh, living organisms need because oxygen supports life so oxygen is very important for all the living things in the uh, present in the air mm, we inhale oxygen we breathe it and we exhale we give out carbon dioxide okay then comes after oxygen comes carbon dioxide okay carbon dioxide uh, is used by plants for ma uh, making the food and also in soft drinks uh, we use carbon dioxide and uh, solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice which is used as freezing agent to make into ice then comes nitrogen nitrogen we use as a manure for plants for uh, put in, in the fertilizers we use nitrogen to add the quality to improve the quality of the soil then uh, other gases are there called inert gases inert gases means argon neon krypton and then these are gases these gases are called inert gases they are filled in bulbs uh, for using uh, for the purpose of colored lights mm? or for decoration of lights uh, to get the lights in different colors we use these gases these gases are present in those bulb that's why the colors are coming in different bright lights colored we can colored bright lights we can see uh, in decoration of lights and all so these gases are present there so these are the uses of gases present in the atmosphere uses of gases in air okay children Yes, children. So next is windmills. Windmills. Okay. Windmills are they use wind. Windmills use wind to generate electricity. What are windmills? We windmills used to generate to produce electricity, the power, the current, electricity. Large number of windmills have been erected in places like Aralvalmuri and Kayatoru for generation of electricity. Mm, okay, air spreads in all directions. 
as present in all directions isn't it that a property of air because this air this air they use by this windmill to generate electricity windmill picture you can see here children image of a windmill you can see it's like a fan hmm? so this blades like a blades of fan this windmill has some blades it will rotate when uh, wind wind is there it's rotate and it because of this rotation or because uh, it turns what happens it spins the generator and in uh, turn it produce electricity this is the way they use wind mills to produce electricity using air okay so application of air pressure in our daily life how we use the air pressure in our day to day life to fill medicine in injection syringe have you seen uh, the injection uh, syringe when you go to doctor if you have fever and all if you have any pain they put injection isn't it so that needle you know injection uh, syringe they they fill first they fill uh, with the medicine then they inject us so to fill medicine in the syringe injection syringe uh, they use which air pressure isn't it then to fill ink in the pens there is a image you have seen using that we are filling ink isn't it we are using air pressure there because of air pressure acting on it that uh, that medicine is going inside the syringe or we say the ink is filling in the pens to suck cool drinks using a straw when you when you suck cool drinks when you drink juice using the straw you are sucking it isn't it yeah that means air because of air pressure we are doing that then to construct artificial fountains see the image of artificial fountains children it's very beautiful to see uh, you can see that artificial fountain using water uh, to create that air pressure is working behind that air pressure we need then to operate hand pumps have you seen hand pumps in villages and all we can see this hand pumps to fill water isn't it so hand pumps also air pressure is working then for the working of sails boat huh? for sail sailing boat air pressure is there parachute parachute you have seen parachute no kites and all this in all these things air pressure is acting on it, all of these things okay that is the application of air pressure the air pressure used in the day to day life to fill medicine in injection syringes to fill ink in the pens then uh, to suck cool drinks using a straw then uh, to construct artificial fountains then to operate hand pumps then for the working of sail boat sail boats you can see the image the sail boats then parachute parachute see people how they uh, uh, fly in the parachutes okay so in parachutes also we use this air pressure and when you fly kites uh, on festivals and dolls and grandi you used to fly uh, fly the kites in uh, sangranti festival children used to fly kites otherwise also for uh, playing with your friends on any occasion we can fly the kites isn't it so this flying kites uh, actually it's air pressure because due to air pressure acting on it we are able to do that okay so in sail boats parachutes and kites also this air pressure is working so we learned about windmills isn't it windmills are used to generate electricity using air uh, they use they generate electricity by uh, when what happens to the blades of the windmill it will rotate use by because of air and it uh, creates uh, what electricity by rotating the turbines or spins generator we say when the blades of the windmill rotates it spins the generator and generator produce electricity okay so this is the way how the windmill use wind to generate electricity because air spreads in all direction that is a uh, uh, property of air they use here in windmill uh? using the wind they generate electricity mm? windmills are you use wind to generate electricity we say now we learned about application of air pressure in our daily life uh, uses of air pressure what we learned first uh, what to fill yes medicine to fill medicine in syringe in syringe or injection syringe we say huh? in injection syringe we use air pressure then uh, next we learned to fill inks isn't it in pens 
we use air, air pressure then to uh, drink juice using straw or suck juice using the straw air pressure is working there then then what else we learned to construct artificial fountains to construct artificial fountains of fountain of water we say huh? we use air pressure here then next is to operate hand pumps hand pumps you can see here all uh, uh, here in villages you using hand pumps uh, we used to fill water isn't it hand pumps air pressure is working there then for the working of sales boat we use air pressure air pressure principle is working there then for flying kites uh, then uh, flying kites we air pressure is working then for parachute flying and all air pressure is the isn't it so these are the uses of air pressure in our day to day life to fill medicine in injection syringe to fill ink in the pens to suck juice or cool drinks from the straw to construct artificial fountain to operate hand pumps working for the working of sales boat flying kite and for parachute in all these air pressure is the okay